What is it saying all here? Back with a new video here today. This time a DIY wall treatment of my laundry room. From my last intro, I got a lot of peacock from my friends. One went as far as to ask me if I robot did my intro. Anyways, we'll see how this one goes. Today I decided to DIY a herringbone pattern on my laundry room wall. I started off by creating this template. It's falling apart now, it did a lot of work. Um, which made it a lot easier for me to get the pattern on the wall. If I didn't do the template, then I would have to individually stamp each piece, which would have been much more time consuming, I think. It's really easy. Anyone can do it. All you need is some sponge and some paint. Hubby and I went on the hunt for our washing machine yesterday. So that will be delivered on Sunday. Hence, it was important for me to complete this laundry room before. Otherwise, it would have been a task for me to try to paint behind the washing machine. Hence, the reason I decided to wear this t-shirt as well. Drunk or business, mind your sober. Well, you know if you're drunk, you just get your words tongue-tied. But if you're from the Caribbean, the phrase usually goes, drunk or sober, mind your business. What this means is you can TTV all day, you can decide to watch Netflix, you could be on the internet, you could scroll through Instagram, but at the end of the day, you must know what your priorities are and you must complete those. My priority this weekend is definitely to complete this laundry room. There are a lot of imperfections on the wall, but I'd like to think of it as being perfectly imperfect. Please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. need a sponge, ruler, marker, and scissors. Measure your sponge, divide this number by three, and mark these points on the sponge. Draw lines connecting these points. Cut your sponge on these lines. Then I decided to trim the edges and round the corners so that my impressions will appear more imperfect. For the next step, you'll need something to adhere your sponges to. I use a trowel because it has a handle, but you can use a piece of cardboard or an old notebook cover if you have one. Play around with your pattern until you find one that you like. I was unable to find my glue gun, so I used these clear adhesive dots that I had on hand instead. In the end, the dots worked out better as they are a temporary adhesive and it was easier to remove the sponges when I needed to do so later. Make sure you press the sponges firmly down on your trowel. Here's a quick look of the laundry room before. All plain white walls. Definitely in need of some sprucing up. I wanted two white lines in my design, so I had to tape those out. I measured 100 and 105 centimeters from the ground and placed my tape there. The tape I used was a brand called Frog Tape and it is 2.4 centimeters wide. the 
template. I use almost one liter of this deluxe inspired paint in the color 21YY. My room is 80 by 156 centimeters and it's 240 centimeters high. Give the paint a quick stir and pour it in the paint tray. I tried this hack I once saw, sorry I can't remember where, but it's said to cover the paint tray with a plastic bag to make cleanup easier. My added tip would be to use a plastic bag without a logo because the logo started peeling and mixing with the tape. Move the paint around the tray and press the template in the tray to try to cover each piece of sponge. Similarly, like what you would do with a stamp and a stamp pad. My template was too large for my paint tray, so I ended up using a paintbrush to slap on some paint onto the sponge pieces. And this technique worked like a charm. Finally, test your template on a scrap piece of paper so that you can figure out how much or how little paint you require for your sponges. your happy dance. I did that left wall first as the ladder I used was cumbersome for my space. I didn't want to sponge any paint. I was also intimidated by that ladder because I don't think I locked the steps correctly. I somehow managed to complete the wall without any injury so that's a plus. I later discovered that I was able to reach the top of the wall using my step ladder so all that additional stress for nothing. Any who's enough about ladders, let's get to stamping. Starting from the top of the wall, press the template firmly on the wall surface. I move downwards, but feel free to move horizontally if you'd like. Make sure and press the ends of the sponge that are outside of your trowel or piece of cardboard. This makes sure you get a good imprint. Don't coat your template with paint after each impression. The variation of paint intensities adds to the beauty of the design. Try to maintain a straight line downwards, otherwise you start losing the herringbone pattern. For the top area that was not covered by my template, I cut the spare piece of sponge and individually stamp the pattern with these pieces. Once the top area was completed, I stepped back and looked to see which impressions were too light. I simply removed one piece of sponge from my template and restamped these. Next, I got to painting the bottom part of the wall. The tip from the DIY gurus is to seal the tape with the same base color prior to painting your new color. And this gives a nice crisp line. But I didn't have any of my base color paint, so I just hoped for the best. the tape. Also you can see in the fourth column from the corner I started going off course. No biggie, I'm sure I can put some wall out there to hide it.
this is definitely the most satisfying part, removing the tape. The seal of the frog tape was amazing. It only bled in the corners and I think that was because I did not seal those areas properly. I was able to wipe out that little paint residue with a dash of paint thinners on a paper towel. You guys, I love how it turned out. I toyed with so many ideas for this laundry room, but with this ongoing pandemic, I wanted an economical option. I am super happy with the results. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Stay safe everyone. Now let's soak in more of this beautiful laundry room. <laughs>